Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. And what I want to show you is how to use the envelope deformer in Toonboom Harmony. Now, this is Toonboom Harmony Premium. And I'm just going to scrub my playhead here real quick. And basically what an envelope deformer is, I have these shapes built around different parts of our character, Camper's hair. And I'm distorting like how the hair moves. So I have an envelope deformer on this large portion of our hair here. I have another one that's set up, let's see, right here on this portion of our hair. So if I scrub this, so it's pretty much these little Bezier or Bezier curves. If you're familiar with working with something like Illustrator or even in Photoshop, uh, we're using these direction handles and paths and distorting those over time. And when we first made Camper, Camper was made so she could be built um, or pretty much rigged totally uh, even with Toon Boom Harmony Essentials, but uh, her hair is kind of stiff. And so I'm going back in and uh, we're revisiting this project um, and re-releasing it. So I'm going back in and adding a little more life to her hair. So what I want to do is I'm going to show you how we did this. I'm going to select another piece of her hair here. And I'm going to go up to my rigging tool and I'll just click this once. Now, if you are using Toon Boom Harmony Essentials, uh, you're not going to have this. I think you know, Harmony Essentials and I think also um, Advanced, you don't have access to the curve or the envelope deformer, but I'm gonna use an envelope deformer here. And I'm gonna click once and come down here, click on the edge. So I'm pulling this out. And unfortunately, Camper's got red hair here, so it's gonna be a little bit hard to see that. Let's see. Okay, this makes it a little bit easier. All right, so I'm gonna come down to the tip of the hair. And I'm not worried about it lining up just yet. I'm gonna put one here. And then to close off, this path, I'm going to hold down my option key, Alt on PC, and click directly on where the path started. All right. Now, I'm going to do something temporarily here. I'm going to grab the dropper tool, take a look at her hair color. I'm going to change this. just so we can see what's going on. Let's see. Let me make it weird and green here for a second. Okay. All right, so now what I wanna do is I'm gonna make sure I'm still in the rigging mode and I wanna tighten up these handles here. So I only want to show the one that I'm working on. All right, so that top deformer there. And I can come here. And I want to tighten up some of these lines here. I'm going to hold on my option key. Again, hold on my option key, that's Alt on PC. And I'm just making sure it forms directly to her hair. And I just keep grabbing my space bar to get the hand tool real quick. All right, hold on option again.
grab the right one there. An option here. As a matter of fact, let's make this even easier. I'm going to solo out. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to solo out this piece of hair. So you can see that needs to be there. Hold on my option key. So pretty much what I've gone and done is I've lined up as much as I can the different anchor points and paths. And when you're working with uh, Bezier curves, you want to make sure that you use not many points. Um, the fewer points you use, the better. So I'm going to unsolo that mode. OK, now, uh, basically, this is right where Camper asks for organic water and ice. Now you don't see any movement right now because we're still in rigging mode. So if I go to our transform tool, you can see how our hair is moving. So our head leans back. Now I'm going to do this um, as if I already haven't actually moved the other pieces of hair. So I'll show you exactly a little trick that I learned from the Halsteads. Let's see. Okay. So what I want to do is I'm going to, one, make sure my animate button is on. I'm going to drop in a keyframe. Let's do F6. And this is right where her head starts going up. And right here, what I want to do is I'm going to bring in her hair a little bit. Well, not too much. And to get just one of the anchors, I'll hold down my option key again. Whoops, not that far. Just going to scrub this to see exactly what I did. All right, we'll bring this in a little bit because it looks a little weird. Okay, that looks pretty cool. All right, and I'm going to copy this keyframe here. Let's do Command C. And we'll go down to this key, right where the head's still remaining the same, and paste. Copy. Can you give me that paste? There we go. All right. And she comes back down. We'll grab that first key. Copy. Get on here to this last key. And paste. All right, now what I want to do is I'm going to offset her hair a little bit, like so. Once I've got the keys exactly where I wanted them, I'm just offsetting them a bit. So get a little bit of secondary action going there. And I'm going to double click back on the hair to get see if I can get back to where I was. 
grab the drop it here, just drag over to her hair, the original hair color there. All right, so I'm going to turn on just to play this out a little bit to see what it looks like. The usual. Organic water and ice, please. Okay. So we'll play that again. Usual. Organic water and ice, please. All right. So that is us playing around with Camper's hair and using the envelope deformer. Uh, I think I'll do another uh, tutorial a little bit later, like how would we do this using the curve deformer? And last but not least, since Camper is actually built using the bone deformer, um, I do want to go back and do that. So that'll be another little trick we're going to do. But the idea is Camper pretty much has almost this helmet hair here. And we want to make it a little more, like move around a little bit better. Like maybe even a strand of hair here should be its own little piece. But I think this is all one solid piece there. Let's see, where is that? Yeah, that's one large piece. And we can probably break it up a little bit better than that. But bottom line is that's how you would use your envelope deformer. And a lot of people use... Uh, the envelope deformers you can use it for parts of the face or maybe even an entire body. Depends on what you're doing. But I wanted to go ahead and play around with that uh, because it, that's a pretty cool, pretty cool tool. And again, this is available in Toon Boom Harmony Premium. So this has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. If you haven't already, please be sure to check out our training on this. This is actually part, uh, this full scene is um, a 30 second short. It's actually about 45 seconds, but um, we are revisiting this and we're going to finally be releasing the short. But uh, we first started working on this like a few years ago and um, it is done in Toon Boom Harmony. And the way we set it up was the I think Camper is actually totally built using the bone deformers. Um, uh, actually, no, excuse me. Camper's built using just regular parent rigging. Uh, the Warefoot character here, this is the bounty she's actually going after. He is actually built using bone deformers. And the plant character in the background here, let's see if I can grab this guy. I believe he is totally made uh, using curve deformers. So let's see if I can grab him here. Yeah. Um, this is one of the favorite, one of, one of my favorite pieces working here because uh, this is the creature that's totally built up out of curve deformers, like his body and everything else. Let's see. So yeah, fun times. So we built the uh, scene kind of uh, with the idea that each one of these characters is rigged in a totally different way. Anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, this is actually on sale for the next week until we actually release the short. So you can catch it on Selfie. Um, it's normally for 99, you can catch it right now for 29. So. Uh, hopefully you can catch that before we take it off sale. This has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Remember, keep it simple. Make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and like the video. Share it with your friends. The more people that know about what we do here at Tony Teach, the more offerings we can give for free and low cost. Have a good one.